nice time, Dorothy? Wonderful. Me too. <laughs> this reminds me of when we were kids and you and Stan double dated with me and Lois Burnham. Oh, yeah, we went to Roseland and you and I did the jitterbug. And afterwards to Louis for a malt. Yeah. Oh, that's when Stan did his walrus imitation with the straws up his nose. <laughs> Come a long way since then. Yeah. Now Stan uses breadsticks. <laughs> I had quite a crush on you. You did. Sure did. And that's why I'm glad we're here together tonight. Uh, I know it may seem sudden, but there is something very important I want to ask you. Anything, Ted. Uh, may I cut in? Oh, hell. <laughs> hey, Stan, it's good to see you. What a coincidence, huh? Look, I'll be back at the table. Uh, but uh, No, it's okay. Hey, we've got all night. You two enjoy, huh? Gatling, party of two. <laughs> Dorothy, you're not moving. It reminds me of our wedding night. Sally, I don't want to dance with you. Dorothy, please, this is really important. Today, Ted called the airline and booked two seats for Acapulco. What does that mean to you? That he doesn't have a travel agent. <laughs> no, you don't understand. The last time he went to Acapulco, we got married. So, the last time I went to Coney Island, I got pregnant. What's your point? No. He made reservations at the same hotel. He's wearing my most expensive aftershave. Don't you see? He's gonna pop the question. I think you're being ridiculous. You're just jumping to conclusions. And besides, it's none of your business anyway. Good night. Shaft of Hardy Three. Ted, I told Dorothy about Acapulco. You heard me make the reservations? Yes, and I think it's a terrible mistake. You mean... It's true? Well, yes. I don't know what to say. I hope you'll say yes. Ted, I think there's something you should know about Dorothy. She snores like a freight train. <laughs> Who cares? She's still a great gal. Hey, guy, you're, you're a wealthy doctor. You could have gorgeous women crawling at your feet. Why waste your time with Dorothy? Stan, I think you're a little out of line. I'm not knocking Dorothy. Oh, uh, what would you call this? A testimonial? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna have to be blunt. Ted, all your life, you've looked up to me and you've envied me for everything I have. That's why you want to marry Dorothy. Marry Dorothy? What are you talking about? Come on, Acapulco, the El Presidente. You're planning something big. Well, yeah. I met this great-looking stewardess on the flight out here, and I asked her to go to Acapulco, and she could only go if I found a sitter for her two kids. Hey, I'd really appreciate it. Come again. They're, they're, they are great kids. Uh, one of them plays with matches and stuff, but you don't smoke, do you? Teddy, you old stud! I mean, you hang around the master long enough, you're going to pick up a few tricks. <laughs> Yo. Listen, uh, Ted, I, I hate to interrupt. <laughs> what was all that sweet talk about you having a crush on me? Well, I, mean, I did, but that was a long time ago. Yeah, but what about last night? Well, I, I'll always remember last night as a very special evening. It was. It was a very special evening. And that's why I'm going to keep that deep, dark secret about yourself that you told me strictly between the two of us. Ah, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Don't <laughs> mention Good night, Ted, and goodbye. Bye. Uh, Collins, party of two, please. Oh, uh, may I borrow this one? <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> may I have your attention, please? The gentleman at table five in the blue suit is impotent. Bon appetit. <laughs>